So, what's in the black box? Well, this is IMC Models 1 to 50 scale CAMAG K25 self propelled modular transporter, and it also comes with a transformer load. There is a small instruction booklet included. Let's open it up, and after a short welcome introduction, it shows you how to configure the units. And then there's a little bit more detail of how to connect them together. But there's no information about the real CAMAG K25. Each of the three parts of the model has got its own box. So there's one for each of the two CAMAG K25s. The modules are wrapped in nice soft paper. And one of the boxes also includes the power pack unit. Also in its own box is the model transformer. To join the two modules together you use the supplied clips, and to let you see what's going on we'll install them by holding them with a pair of pliers. It is a bit fiddly but you have to carefully line them up and then push hard. With the two clips in we can then join the unit so we'll do that upside down so we can see what's going on. You push the two units together so that the clips engage and then they clip into place. You then slide in a nice locking bolt and that tightens everything up. So there it is, and the only thing to make sure of is that you've joined the correct ends together, and you do that by following the instructions. Next up, we need to attach the power pack unit. And there's a latch at the top, which hooks into the SPMT. And to secure it, you use the same locking pin mechanism. One thing to note though, is that the latch isn't very tight, so you have to position it carefully to pose the model. Next we add the metal plates which cover the steering linkages, and they simply drop in place. So we're almost done, the only thing to add now is the transformer, and here we're using the giant hand crane to position it. Looking underneath, the modules have got a strong structure and nicely engineered wheel sets. The wheel hubs are different with the red ones being for driven axles, and there's very nice CAMAG graphics along the module edges. The power pack is very detailed with anti-slip surfaces and nice mesh grills, and the detailing at the end of the power pack is intricate. The transformer is a large plastic or resin piece, and it's got nice added details. That includes the red lifting points and also the grill at one end, but there's no small graphics. Well, the first thing to say is that these modules are nicely engineered by IMC. There is independent sprung suspension on each of the wheel sets, but you can't set the height of extension. Still, the modules bounce around nicely, and they also have proportional steering. All of the wheel sets are linked together, and the angle of steering varies as you go down the module. So with the steering set, the module does traverse a nice curve. As always, it's nice to look in and see all of the steering rods moving. Let's now go to the complete assembly and see how the steering works with the steering set at both ends. And it's very nice with the whole thing turning smoothly. There's no information provided with the transformer, so we don't know how much it weighs. It could be around two or three hundred tonnes. Oh come on, don't be stupid. How could you lift it up if it was that heavy? Well, this is cranes etc, so if we don't know we'll just guess. And we'll say it weighs less than a hundred tonnes, so we'll hook it up to a one hundred tonne lifting beam. Of course this is all a bit risky, because if the transformer really does weigh three hundred tonnes, we've got a big disaster coming. <laughs> These are very nicely made SPMT units by IMC. The detailing is very good and it's also nice to see that the functionality is good too. With the big transformer load it's also possible to make an interesting display with other models. So overall this K25 set is highly recommended. Mm -hmm. 